Now, live in HD, covering Fort Worth, Dallas, and all of North Texas, this is CBS 11 News at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tracy Cornett. Thanks. This week is Men's Health Week, and all week we're going to be discussing different men's health issues here on CBS 11 News at 4. Today's subject, male infertility. Not always comfortable for men to talk about, but without discussion, you can't have any solutions. So here to talk about male infertility, Dr. Walid Saleh, a specialist at the Share Institute for Reproductive Medicine. So first of all, we were just talking before we came on the air, it, it is still relatively a female situation, but there is, they dominate when there are infertility problems, if you look at the numbers as a whole. But male infertility is real, it does exist, and it's something that does need to be addressed and can be, and can be worked on, correct? Yes, actually it is much more common than we think. Uh, about 10% of men have some kind of fertility issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we look at just people with an infertility problem, 60% of the time we find that the male is involved. Okay, so when, when we talk about men and infertility, it's a completely different scenario than a woman with infertility. So in, in the male world, what do we do about it? What's, what are the protocols? Okay, uh, the, it depends on the cause of infertility. If the, the count is low, for example, that could be either a blockage mm -hmm. or a hormonal problem. So the treatments would be different. Uh, sometimes if it's a hormonal problem, we can give medication mm -hmm. in order to restore the production of sperm. If it is a blockage, we can aspirate or go fish for sperm upstream, mm -hmm. so to speak. Okay. Um, the treatment is different for also uh, depending how bad it is. If it is mild, we can always uh, wash the sperm, spin it, and help it uh, by inseminating inside the uterus. So, so var varying degrees of, of disability, if you will, and then varying degrees of treatment, obviously. Who's most at risk? Is there an age category? Is there a race uh, that, that is affected more than any other, or not really? No, unlike women, we are not affected by, by age. Uh, the most important is uh, to have a, a few good sperm that make it to the egg. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a numbers game, and sometimes you have to improve the numbers either by improving the delivery, which is the insemination process, mm -hmm. or we have to go all the way where we work at the finish line where the egg and the sperm have to meet. We will then inject the sperm directly into the egg. Okay. So you always find enough sperm to fix the problem. All right, Dr. Saleh, thanks for being here. We appreciate that and much more available for you. If you'd like some more information regarding male infertility and the Share Institute for Reproductive Medicine, which the doctor represents, you can log on to CBS11TV.com, click on links and numbers. And tomorrow, we're going to talk about back pain, injuries, and exercise with Dallas neurosurgeon, Dr. Rob Dickerman. Tracy? All right, Doug, thank you.